Welcome back everyone, Joe here. Hope everyone's doing well. So today we're at the top plot, the actual top part of the top plot. What I have here is my Echo PB90T10 along with two rakes. I'm gonna try to go and get some of this low-lying sticks and nonsense off the ground so I could really get in here and plant it within the next two weeks. Now we have two tropical storms or hurricanes that are passing over us or barely grazing us. So we have some really nice rain that's been coming in. Uh, I have my brassicas planted down here on the lower half. I'm gonna show you guys that. I have the brassicas planted down below here, as you guys can see right now. And also this top area right now, what I would like to plant within the next few days is some cereal grain rye. Now that the leaves are really starting to fall and drop, we should have a little bit more sun penetration through the canopy. And um, we should have no issue growing at least that first layer at uh, probably every three to four weeks, I'm gonna have to put down probably 50 to 100 pounds up here just to really get it established and making it really look nice up in this area. There's really not going to be much to it other than finding a spot and probably just doing some of this. I got about an hour and a half before the rain really kicks in. So that's about as hard as it's going to be. I'll start making piles, little piles like this, start connecting those little piles, make them into a bigger pile, come up with the wheelbarrow, and just get them out of the way. Good so far. This little section here, it's been about a minute and 57 seconds for this little area. I'm just going to continue my way, working my way down here, doing the same thing. Now, these two piles, I'm just going to connect, and you guys kind of get the point. There's no real science to this. This section right here took me about a solid four minutes to do it with the hand rake. Now I'm gonna try the next section over with the blower and see how long that takes. Honestly, that works really well. The only issue that I'm seeing is with the rake, the rake that's like everything, the sticks, the acorns, makes the dirt have little grooves in it. This just blows the whole top layer off. And it seems like I'm not getting any of the sticks and twigs. So uh, I think we're gonna go back to raking for a little bit, which kind of sucks. <laughs> What 
was going to do originally is to take these piles and toss them into the woods. But I have a ditch here from a tree that blew over a long time ago. Uh, it's been there since we started this. I'm probably going to throw some charcoal in there and start a fire within the next few days when I wrap this project actually up. These will probably sit for a few more days. Not really stressing it. We're going to put it in there, throw all these twigs and all that, start that fire, light it up, let it die down, and then at least there's a charcoal pile for the deer and for really any other critters that come out. Supposedly, from what I gather, now check it out yourself, charcoal is a natural dewormer, so it'll help out if they have any kind of worms, supposedly. I'm not a biologist, stuff I read. So uh, it's right there in Google, type it in, charcoal dewormer, you'll pop up. So uh, I'll leave that there, and then at least I'll have another area where they come in, eat off of that stuff, and you know, hopefully it helps them out in the long run.
going a little slower than what I thought I was going to be doing. I thought I would be doing more raking, but I, uh, I took the blower. I used definitely used the blower. I took a break, and I was on the Facebook, North Carolina Facebook forums, and these guys are showing that uh, copperheads are out and baby copperheads is the time of the year that they come out. So uh, what I wanted to do is, I believe his name is Graham. He's got a YouTube channel, a very big YouTube channel. So I watch him all the time. Deer hunting and... I'll put it on the bottom. I, forget, I honestly forgot the name. I, I can't think of it right now. He calls this stuff duff. Turkeys are very attracted to recent burns. It uncovers all the duff and makes bugs, salamanders, and even new plants available for easy feeding. Hearing that tom fire off was a great... And he lights it on fire every year. I don't have the skill set to start a fire at one section and let it kind of creep up and go. So I'm making these piles, this right here. I'm gonna come back with the pitchfork, pick that up and put it on this, this area here, like I said earlier. But a lot of the stuff really cleaned up nice. I just got, I'm gonna kind of just go through with the rake, bring everything down again and not so much stress. The bigger sticks that are kind of were in the way, the blower really took care of that a lot. This is kind of what it looked like before. I haven't gotten in here yet. And uh, this is what it looks like after. And really, you can see the difference. I don't have to even say that you can't. That's what that whole upper area looks like right now. It's all cleaned up. I gotta hit it, this area with the rake. And then I'm gonna bring all this stuff in here and put it right to this section right there. Light a fire somewhere in there and just keep feeding it. And the only way it can really go is maybe behind it, creep behind it and eat some of that stuff up. But all this will, I'll have a big, huge fire break. It's all gonna kind of look like that. So nothing should light up on fire. If I have to, I will bring a fire extinguisher with me just in case. But we're getting like five, six days of straight rain. And this brassica and clover plot up here is really taking in. Everything's coming in nice there. I'll probably have to go and get another bag of fertilizer fertilize that before the season starts and i'd really like to get in here and get the stuff laid down on here because uh i don't want to lose too much of this this top layer there's not a lot as you guys can see this area over here there's a, a nice soil la layer uh from whatever these leaves are kind of rotten on top and just doing their thing and you can see the, the difference between what the other stuff was and this nice soil layer over here so that's what I would like to keep. I really don't want any more erosion and or runoff from down here. I want this to actually be an all year area, but for that to happen, I really gotta get some of these trees down in here and then probably to lay down a, a clover or something that stays in half shade. So I'll have to really just Google that and see what's out there. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I'm gonna kind of finish this up. You guys get the point, you've been watching the whole time and thank you, I really appreciate it. Again, guys, my name is Joe. If you like this sort of thing, if you can, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. I'll put another video right over here, what it looked like about a year ago when uh, my Uncle John Harry and I were cleaning this out. I'll also put a video right here that YouTube thinks you'll like the best. Again, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. And if you don't mind, I got a hundred and something more videos. Go back and see what this looked like. Thank you so much. Bye.